Hey everyone, not sure why the music wasn't working there, so, uh, but welcome uh, today. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit of a vacation from standard today. I guess I'll tell the whole story. Um, my original plan for today was to play um, Tendril Warrior. And yesterday uh, I put together a version of the deck and I decided to play a few games to see, you know, um, how it played and just, um, I guess, whether or not it was even worth playing, right? If it was competitive at all. Um, and I played seven games, I believe. Um, the first three were against Paladins, which just pushed my shit in. Um, which is funny because <laughs> for anyone who wasn't here on my Monday stream, I dedicated the whole stream to uh, playing an anti-Paladin Death Knight deck. And I did not run into a Paladin for three hours. I literally streamed for three hours and did not run into a Paladin until the very last game. And then yesterday, I switched over to try this Warrior deck. And literally my first three games are Paladin. Um, one of them killed me with like a 20 damage Wind Fury Leroy. Um, anyways, kind of shook it off, you know, decided to try a few more games. Um, the next four games, it was Odin Warrior, Plague Death Knight, Odin Warrior, Plague Death Knight. I lost all of them. <laughs> Literally lost seven games in a row with this deck. And that was the point where I was just like, okay, I'm not playing this deck. Um, I need a break from this meta. <laughs> um, so we will be jumping back into wild today. Um, and then tomorrow we'll go back into standard. Um, there is a balance patch tomorrow for those that maybe aren't aware. Um, Justin, what is Exodia Paladin? Uh, I'll get into that in a sec, but um, it, it's definitely, a, it's one of those um, like win the game conditions, which I love. And there was a card that came out, um, excuse me, <clears throat> there was a card that came out this expansion that really buffs the deck and might actually make it competitive now. But uh, really quick, I just wanted to talk about the buffs that they teased, well, nerfs and buffs that they teased for the next patch, which is tomorrow. So basically, we'll take a vacation today from standard, jump back into wild, and then tomorrow bunch of nerfs, some buffs, um, should shake up the meta a bit, but basically, so, uh, they posted this picture to tease, you know, the change is coming on Thursday, um, two buffs, um, the one is the Druid Aviana legendary, the one that shuffles all the legendaries into your deck and they cost one, um, which is cool because that's very much a card I planned on playing and trying at some point. So the fact that it's getting buffs, great, makes my job a little easier. This one here, um, this is the mage spell that, I honestly, I thought this mage spell was shit the, the moment it was announced, so I'm kind of glad they're buffing it. it. It is four cost, I believe. Here, let me just go to Whizbangs. What's this one? Five cost. Oh, too bad I wasn't getting nerfed. I got two golden ones. Uh, but yeah, deal four damage to a character. If it dies, summon a water elemental. Um, I can see this being buffed to four, four mana. Five's kind of rough, um, but that is it for the buffs. So two little ones, but then we got some major nerfs coming. So for Hunter, uh, I'm actually surprised Hunter is only getting hit by one card here, um, and it is the one mana Tremor card. So the one, I forget what it's called, because I don't really play Hunter. Uh, Awakening Tremors, so this one. So if I had to guess, they're probably gonna make the worms like three ones. That's my guess. So that's for Hunter. Um, Paladin is getting hit with three nerfs, which is huge. Um, one is the stupid Rush Cat, which from day one, it was obvious this card was way too powerful. You know, it's literally Zilliax for less mana that leaves a copy in your hand. So that will be getting some nerfs. Um, where is it? Look at that, I got two golden ones. So actually, this is a good this is a good time to bring this up too. That you know, to me, like the number one rule, if you're if you're a whale, disregard this. But if you're trying to maximize, you know, your dust and your value, um, the number one thing I can really tell you is don't ever, unless you absolutely need the dust, don't ever hit this button. The best thing to do is to hold on to your extras, your duplicates, and only disenchant when there's balance patches. Because I, you know, I will tell you, right, that, it, like right here, right, this is 800 dust um, on, actually more, with the normal copies, that's 1,000 dust. Uh, how's the disenchant them right now is only 50. So, unless you absolutely need the dust right now, highly suggest you wait for balance patches. 
uh, especially we get them pretty frequently now, you know, early on in Hearthstone's lifetime, uh, we used to go months between balance patches, but now it's like every three weeks or so. So yeah, hold on to your duplicates, disenchant them as nerfs come through, um, and just, just disenchant everything, you know, um, like I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit, but Odin is going to be nerfed. So even if you love Odin, even if you play Odin, I would highly suggest disenchanting him on Thursday. Because best case scenario, Odin is shit and never played and you get 1600 dust. Worst case scenario, Odin is still good. You craft it again and you're out nothing, right? So it's only potential upside. So every balance patch, if you have any legendaries, if you have any extras, go ahead, disenchant them all. Worst case scenario, you just craft it again and you're out nothing. So uh, anyways, yeah, the Paladin Rush miniature is getting nerfed. I can see that going up to four mana. Um, even at four mana, it's still a better Zilliax, which is crazy. Um, the aura is being nerfed, um, which, you know, it is strong. I think these two cards are much stronger. Um, and then Shroomscavate is getting nerfed, which I think is the most important card to be nerfed out of all of this. And I think even in like the current meta, um, the one suggestion I've seen online, which makes sense is to change it basically the same card it is currently but give it the text where the minion can't attack heroes that turn i think that'd be a great change just just leave it as is and just say you know it can't attack minions this turn which has existed in the past because there is an old paladin card i think it's four mana um give a minion and plus eight plus eight and it can't attack heroes this turn am i remembering that card right okay was it five mana or was it three mana Oh, it was five mana. Yeah, see? Like, there is there is a precedent for this, right? Um, so yeah, leave Shrooms Cavate the same. Just put it can't attack heroes this turn. I think it'd be totally fine. Me personally. Um, Thrall's Gift is being nerfed. Um, I'm a little bummed about it because I've been warming up to this card recently. Um, but if I had to guess, it's going to nerf the Lightning Bolt portion of it because nature shaman i haven't run into it yet but apparently apparently nature shaman is just like on a terror right now and that's an extra lightning bolt for nature shaman so i can see that nerf um uh what's this called earthquake shock waves something like that <laughs> i suck with card names sometimes um aftershocks I, I was wrong on both accounts um this this nerf, nerf sucks because i really like this card if i had to guess um i think a fair nerf is adjusting this last line here. So maybe changing it to where it costs one less if you spent, if you cost a spell loss last turn. Um, or leave it as two and bump the normal one up to five. I think either of those is fair. But it does suck, this is a good card. Um, yeah, hey Dave. Um, yeah, so for Odin, I don't know. It, it depends if they want to neuter Odin or not. Um, because I think like a minor nerf, which is still a decent nerf, would be to change him to nine mana. Because at nine mana, you can't drop Odin and hero power. You can't drop Odin and um, shield block. You can't safety goggles, right? So it reduces the burst a little bit by like one turn. Um, and then also you're spending nine mana do nothing, which is, you know, quite a bit worse even than eight mana do nothing. So it depends. Um, I've seen other suggestions online to rework the card. Um, I don't see them totally reworking it. I think they'll just bump up the mana cost personally. Um, and then Zilliax. Um, based on the comments I read and, you know, kind of the picture here, it seems like they're going to nerf that specific module, which I think is the one... I think it's the one that reduces um, its mana cost for every minion on the board. Let me check. Um, what does it look like again? <laughs> like gold colored? Nope. Yeah, that one. So yeah. So I could see, I've seen suggestions to maybe change this to, you know, cost one less for each of your minions in play. Um, maybe bump this up to five mana, maybe reduce these stats. There's a whole lot of ways they can go about it, right? But moral of the story, once again, is if you have any of these cards, if you have Odin and you love Odin, disenchant it tomorrow. Like, no question about it. Worst case scenario, you just craft them again. 
But best case scenario, Odin sucks and it's 1600 dust. So anyways, that sidetracked a bit there, but um, yeah, tomorrow we'll go back to standard. Hopefully meta gets shaken up a little bit. Um, for now, we're going to go into wild with Exodia Paladin, which if anyone's, you know, been watching for a little while now, I did play this a few weeks ago in Twist, um, and it revolves around the Uther Death Knight. So basically this makes your hero power two mana, summon a 2-2 horseman, and if you have all four, you just destroy the enemy hero. So when I played this in Twist, um, I basically bounced the horseman to my hand with Brewmaster, built up three of them, played them hero power for the fourth, and I won that way. Um, in Wild, there's a lot more ways to abuse this card. And one of them is a card that just came out. Sing along, buddy. Your hero power triggers twice. So with this card, this deck can theoretically kill someone in one turn with an empty board. Um, basically, you have Uther. You know, you get the hero power. And then you play Garrison Commander, which lets you use your hero power twice. And you play Sing Along Buddy, which makes your hero power trigger twice. So you use the hero power once, it spawns two horsemen. Use the hero power again, it spawns the other two, you just win the game. And considering Garrison Commander is two, Sing Along Buddy is two, and then two hero powers, eight mana. So the dream is to play Uther, and then next turn, drop the Garrison Commander, drop Sing Along Buddy, hero power twice, and win. Or another way to do it is you do have Call to Arms in the deck, where the only minions in the deck that this can pull out are the Garrison Commander and the Sing Along Buddy. So the dream is, you know, turn nine, play Uther, turn 10, Call to Arms, hero power twice, and you win. And then, so the rest of the deck is like removal, um, got some cards with tradable to cycle through the deck a bit, you know, equality, got some healing, some draw. Um, we'll see how it goes. I've seen a few variations of this deck online and I grabbed one and tweaked it a bit. So as usual, we'll play around with it, see what works, what doesn't work. Um, but yeah, I want to see how that goes because I really did enjoy playing this deck in twist and I wanted to jump into wild with it at some point because it's such like a unique win condition. And so, yeah, the fact that this new card came out that really elevates it, just icing on the cake. And Dave, um, patch notes will come out tomorrow, usually around like 12 or 1 Eastern time. Um, this is like a nice combo here. Just whole hand's not bad. But yeah, I'm really excited. Um, on one hand, like I love, I love playing Uther. I hate playing, against, or not Uther. I love playing Odin. I hate playing against it. So on one hand, I am sad that it's getting nerfed. Um, but on the other, it is, it really sucks. I, I, the other day I played against an Odin warrior that played Odin on eight and literally on turn nine did like 40 something damage to me. And it sucks. It, you know, it feels bad. Oh, there's there, we have the dream. Um, I'll hold that because I have Consecration if I need it. Yeah, it's got Time Out in the deck. Another way to stall the game. So basically our goal is to survive and stall until, you know, turn 9 and 10. And then play Uther on 9 and hopefully win on turn 10. And we have the cards to do with this game. Literally Uther on turn 9, Call to Arms on 10 and we win. So, Dave, I think Paladin will still be strong. I feel like Paladin is one of those classes that no matter how hard they nerf it, it always stays relevant. <laughs> like, it just has... It, it, it's not, it might not be, like, the best deck in the game, but it's still going to be good. I have no doubt about it. Also, Pirate Death Knight, that's a new one. It's chill, I guess. Um... I think hand buff will still be good. I just think, um, you know, I, I even think it'll still be capable of OTKing people from hand. You know, it's not losing Leroy. It's not losing the one mana charge. Um, it's really not losing any, like, of its buffs, right? Um, just the, um, what do you call it? The aura is being toned down a bit. That's a little bit less damage. Um, the Rush Divine Shield is going to be toned down a little bit. Um, and then I guess the biggest hit to the deck will be Shroomscavate, which, like I said, 
Um, if they do it where you can't attack heroes that turn, it'll still be strong. It's just you're not going to kill people out of nowhere. It'll take like one turn longer. So yeah, I don't know. B based on, you know, historically, I think Paladin will still remain strong. It, it still has so many good cards. I, have but little time. I think I'll just be toned down a bit. Also, I don't know if this is a bot or what, but interesting card choices. I don't know what happened there with that card. Um, Yeah, depending what they do with Warrior, I think the same thing. I think it'll still remain strong. It might not just be like... Oh, we had the perfect hand, too. That's a bummer. But yeah, I think Warrior will remain strong, too. This won't be like Tier 1, you know? And I know a lot of people's like initial reactions are that Warlock is going to get even better. Because I know a lot of people are frustrated with Warlock right now. Because the win condition is kind of like uninteractive a bit. Which, which I get. But I, I don't think that'll be the case. I think, if anything, Hunter will get stronger with this patch, which, you know, probably the biggest weakness to Warlock right now is just fast decks, right? So if Hunter gets uh, more powerful, that hurts Warlock. Um, I can see some kind of ag... Or, or also there's Nature Shaman I mentioned too, right? Nature Shaman is getting up there in popularity, which I bet you Nature Shaman is favored against Warlock as well. So... Might not be the, like the warlock patch, like some people think it is. Also, order in the court is great with this deck because it sets it up where you draw Uther and then called arms, so like literally the combo pieces you want. Yeah, th th this deck has always been like passable, but yeah, sing along buddy might actually make it competitive. I'm really curious to see. The only card actually I don't have in this deck that I would want is the four mana dragon legendary. The one that sets both people to 10 mana crystals. That would be amazing in this deck, but I don't have it and I didn't want to craft it. But that'd be really nice because you could potentially play that on four and then Uther on five. Um... This is probably like Kingsbane or some kind of miracle. But how are you guys enjoying the expansion? Yep. Is there any buffs or nerfs you're looking forward to or any decks you're trying to make work? Oh, that's right. Okay. Oh, is this mine rogue? Or I'll just draw. I bring out the best. I must just want healing, I guess. I guess mine rogue can have some really explosive starts. We just need to get to turn ten, or even like turn nine. You know, we essentially heal for 10 on turn 9. Oh god. Not like this. Uh, I don't need this because I've called arms. So I'll take something else. That's nice. Saves me 3 life. Alright, take that. But overall, you know, there obviously is a couple decks and a couple of play patterns I'm not a fan of with this expansion. No expansion's perfect, but overall I'm pretty happy with it. I think Miniaturize is a great mechanic. I think there's some really cool cards they added. Don't dismiss 
Oh, these interactions are so stupid. I forgot about this. Okay, I'm just dead. <laughs> right? Oh no, I'm at two life. Or not, Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, that interaction with uh, the death rattle triggers and that minion is weird. Is it, yeah, it it gives you the weapon back twice. So it'll break the first one, and then because of the aura, it'll double the death rattle trigger on that one too. Liadren versus the Lich King. Yeah, some wild decks are <laughs> so fast. With holy fire. Oh, nice, Justin. Yeah, Jade Display is definitely something I'd check out at some point. I know there is an, an achievement for getting, like, a, I don't know, 8 8 or 10 10 one, I think. It's a Druid card, right? It's not like a neutral card, I don't think. All right, we got two unholy so far. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Like a just in case. I could probably just order in the court. Actually, I'll I'll see what order in the court because I can theoretically save this to like turn eight. Yeah, it's kind of funny too. Uh, I mentioned like day one or two of the expansion how I thought Ziliax was like the safest craft in the game. Like, you know, you're only it's only going to get better, the card. And the fact that they're nerfing Ziliax a weekend is great because say you crafted it and you're not a fan of it, right? You can disenchant it tomorrow. Let me take a look, Dave. Okay, that. What is with all these Death Knights running South Sea Captain? <laughs> Am I missing something? <laughs> uh, let's kill that one too, I guess. I think the Paladin gift's actually decent. Having both Equality and Consecration is pretty nice. So if you have one, you, you can complete the combo. And yeah, like I said, Justin, I'll, I'll have to check out Jade Display at some point. I, ha I feel like I have such a huge, I have like a note on my phone of all like the standard and wild decks I want to play. And I, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of decks I want to play. I have like 10 or 12 wild decks listed. I have a bunch of stuff. Um, someone, I forget who, someone sent me a Hagatha Shaman deck last stream that I want to try at some point. Yeah, I think I'll wait in order in the court. Um, I do have Uther, so Order in the Court gets me called arms to turn after. I miss Lord Barov. That, that was a really cool card. Someone like the dual class cards, they just like nailed the design for. Oh, look at that. So, turn seven. Yeah, I can hold off on order in the court. No rush. Rise and serve your king. We think this is like a bot. Played some weird cards. 
Um, I'll get two noble sacks. Sure. I'll just order in the court now. But yeah, I've mentioned it before, but... Okay. <laughs> I've mentioned it before, but... Um, miniaturize has been a pretty cool keyword. I really, like, underestimated it during preview season. But actually playing the cards now, I think it's great. It just feels really good to play. Consecration is threes. Okay, it's four. Do try to keep yourselves alive. Oh, yeah, doesn't hurt. All right, so turn nine we Uther, turn ten we win. Like I said, the that four mana dragon legendary would actually make this deck a lot, lot better. Because you could play the dragon on four, Uther on five, win on six. Actually, no. Never mind. You still couldn't win until at least turn eight, but it would, it would speed it up a couple turns at least. Stranglethorn Tiger. That brings back memories. <laughs> okay, well, we win. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll play a few games with the deck. And then see about making some swaps, maybe. I think city tax is pretty good. I like noble sack I can maybe get rid of. Flash of light is great because it heals us and it draws. Yeah, I don't know. It's a pretty tight list. Timeout is great. You can just stall a bit. All right, so let's see this in action. So it is nice because because Call to Arms pulls out three minions, if you have, you know, four garrison command, sorry, if you have two garrison commanders and two sing-along buddies in the deck, you're going to get a pair regardless, right? Because you're going to get two and one. So it just always works too. No peace, no time has come. Look at that. Easy peasy. What's the best way to spend gold? Um, um, well, I would make sure, at the very least, um, I don't know how many packs you've bought from other expansions, but um, basically you're guaranteed within your first 10 packs to open a legendary. So if you haven't opened packs from previous expansions, I would buy one at a time and you know until you get the legendary for each set. That's basically a thousand gold max per legendary right there. Leandrin versus Valir. Watch your back. My blade burns with holy fire. I like the service bell. Keep that. Noble sack kind of sucks against rogue. But yeah, if, if there's any standard legal sets you haven't opened ten cards of, I would open those until you get a legendary. Oh, it's still your first week. Man, I don't know why I thought you'd been playing a little longer. <laughs> so yeah, what I would do is go through the previous sets. Um, and yeah, like I said, buy one pack at a time. Just just in case, right? Because you could open a legendary in your third pack. So it's kind of tedious. <laughs> but uh, it's kind of tedious. But buy a pack, open it. Buy a pack, open it. And then max on the 10th pack, you'll get a legendary. And then just repeat that for the other expansions. So that's probably the most gold efficient thing to start off doing. Yeah, or save for the mini set too. I forget. I'd, I'd have to take a look at those mini sets. Um, 
I'd have, to, I'd have to take a look at the other mini sets again. Because some of them are better than others, at least personally, right? I guess it depends what you like to play. Um, I would say I buy like half the mini sets. Some of them are great and are worth the money. Some of them, I only want like one legendary out of it. I'm not, probably not going to bother. Also, this guy's having a pretty strong start. Um, this is rough. I have to coin that out, I guess. Essentially heals me for four. Yeah, by normal packs. Gold and actually have the same rule. So if you ever get to the point where you have like, you know, you've bought lots of packs and you have extra gold, you don't know what to spend it on. Um, gold packs are the same thing. So max on the 10th gold pack, you get a golden legendary. Which, you know, if you don't like it, it you can disenchant it and um, it, it's the 1600 dust, right? Um... This is rough. Should I? So, I time out on six, time out on seven. <laughs> God. This is not looking good. King's Bane can have such strong explosive starts. Don't need that. Maybe there's some way we can sneak us in. Archangel! <laughs> um, don't think I'll need that. I have one in hand already. So I could bear off Consecration. But if there's any weapon buff, he kills me. Or I could just bear off into timeout. Do try to keep yourselves alive. Yeah, if he has no, like he must have a weapon buff in hand, right? Oh, especially now. What keeps us alive here? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Noble Sack actually could keep us alive. He isn't another minion. No arcane. Oh, I was hoping no arcane giant. I 
Yeah, like we need Noble Sack to stay alive, essentially. Damn. You're close. Man, a lot of hyper aggressive decks playing. We've either played against like dipshit death knights who like must be bots or um, super aggressive decks. Actually, we've played against. Oh, no, I'm looking at the wrong deck. Uh, we have played against two rogues now. Another death knights. <laughs> We're just gonna alternate between super aggro deck, dumbass death knight bot. My blade burns with holy fire. Um just take draw. I don't think we need timeout. But yeah, I, maybe I'll play Haggit the Shaman tomorrow. Like I said, I was going to originally play um, Tendril Warrior. I want to play Tendril Rogue at some point. Haggit the Shaman. Um, Wishing Well Rogue. What else is there? <laughs> like, there's so many decks. I want to play... Oh, maybe um, after that new uh, Aviana card gets buffed tomorrow. Could play that. Little fun Druid deck. Even spell damage druid I want to play at some point. Still so many decks. Renathal Plague Shaman. Okay. <laughs> Can't get away from Plague Shaman even in wild. Or Plague Sha Plague Death Knight. <laughs> I got Shaman on the brain. And uh, close enough. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sick of plagues. And we still got a whole other year left of them. I think just what annoys me about plagues is there's like no counterplay to them now. Now that Steam Cleaner's gone. And sometimes I like, like that was part of the thing, right? When I was trying to play um, Tendril Warrior the other day, it's a Reno deck. And I ran into multiple Plague Death Knights, and it always feels so bad playing a Reno deck and running into Plague Death Knight. Like, I don't ever think a deck should just, like, 100% counter another deck. So it feels really bad. Um... We have Uther in hand already. Actually, maybe called arms too. So just survival turn ten. <laughs> the plague shamans, the poison lightning. It's the worst. I wish they were nerfing that card on Thursday. But yeah, I'm very curious how the. The meta is going to react. I do think, um, from what I've heard, Nature Shaman is like the scary deck right now that's on the rise. So that's going to be popular. I think Beast Hunter is going to get more popular. Um, I do think Warlock will see an uptick, but I think Nature Shaman and Beast Hunter are going to keep the deck down. Could be totally wrong. I think Plague Death Knight is still going to exist, unfortunately, because people just love playing the deck, apparently. <laughs> um, I guess the Frost Plagues could screw me a bit. Although, I only, I only had the one, and I drew it. Actually, kind of funny, Order in the Court... You know, that's all the plagues in the bottom of your deck, but once they shuffle one more plague and it goes away. Um, yeah, 
just got chill, right? Get to turn 10 and win. My pain doesn't come yeah, if, if <laughs> it felt... I was getting so frustrating playing the Tendril Shaman yet, or uh, Tendril Warrior yesterday. Like I said, getting stomped by three Paladins, and then getting blown out by Odin Warrior twice, and then I had the two Plague, Plague Death Knights, which, you know, I was playing Reno, so... If I order... Actually, no. Order in the Court does nothing because he just shovels another Plague. I still think I'm fine. I can survive one more turn, play Uther, and then win on the next turn. Also, I'm very much looking forward to April and the ranks resetting because it sucks being in Diamond 5 and trying to play fun decks because everyone's playing sweaty and wants to get Legend at that point, right? Which is another reason that you, know, you try to play fun decks and it just doesn't work out at higher ranks. Um, like, I can just time out here, right? Um, we're in the court, get the other time out. Yeah, I, I am going to dedicate a stream to um, the new Whizbang. I was going to play it, you know, like the, um, the week, the expansion launch. But from everything I heard and seen, the card's not that great, unfortunately. And like I said, if I start playing Whizbang right now in Diamond 5, I'm just going to get shit on. And it's not going to be fun. So uh, once April hits and the ladder resets, I'll, I'll do a Whizbang stream at that point. Because I'll actually win some games, you know, in the, the lower ranks and won't be so miserable to play. So as much as I would like Uther here, I can't really, just because he has so much damage on the board. Try to keep yourselves alive. But that's a perfect setup to play it next turn. Yeah, it, it's, it's always the downside to climbing ranks sometimes <laughs> when you want to play fun decks. And sometimes you just win too much and you get... Uh, you know, sometimes in wild too, right? I've said it before because some people talk about how they want to play wild more, but um, they feel like they just run into like super sweaty decks, which is the case. But pretty often, there's been you know months I've been into wild, and I'll hit diamond without even trying, like just playing random stupid decks in wild. So, to me, up until diamond is kind of like you know gold to platinum is like the sweet spot in terms of like having fun. So, looking forward to the ranks resetting in April, just so I can go back to playing some fun decks. Play some fun decks for the first week or two until you get to a higher rank and then, you know, switch to better decks. Alright, we win next turn. <laughs> it's crazy too because you can play, even if I didn't have these guys in my hand, you can play Call to Arms, it draws three minions, and you, you only need four for your hero power, right? So. The board size is perfect. Um, it's a really cool combo. Or I can just play them. GG. Yeah, I do wonder with some tweaking if this deck could actually be competitive. Like maybe not tier one, but like tier two in wild, I could see it. I do think that Legendary Dragon would be a huge buff to this deck. I just don't have it, and I've blown through a lot of dust the last couple of weeks. Um, <laughs> I was thinking about it earlier. Just like two weeks ago, I had like 20,000 dust, and I now have a 1,000. <laughs> I've just been crafting so many cards for the streams, and now I'm dust poor now. If, so if I played this deck a couple of weeks ago, I would have crafted that Legendary, but now I'm broke. Is it probably Shutterwalk, if I had to guess? Which is kind of good for me, because that deck's generally strong. Or sorry, generally slow. You know, it's trying to win the long game, right? Just grinding people out with Shutterwalk. Which this deck doesn't care about. 
And the timeout is nice. If it gets to like, you know, like turn eight or nine and I'm almost there, timeout can save you against some shutter walk chains. I don't know if Uther's Gift now fits the deck though. Now that I've played some games with it, I was really like up on the card. I thought it was great because I have, you know, equality and then I have Consecration, I have Lord Bear of, um, as well as City Tax as like multiple ways to wipe boards. So it was nice because if I have one half of the combo, Uther's Gift can give me the other half of the combo. But I don't know, this hasn't felt great. Um, all right. It's kind of funny though, I was just talking shit, but it's going to come in handy this game more than likely. Equality is what, two mana? So it's a six mana combo. If I get equality with service spell, that'd be nice. At least this deck. Um, hmm. I think I just go for it. All right, we win. <laughs> this is definitely one of those decks you like shut down once and it's just over. I think he's probably just gonna blow all three of these cards this turn. And then I wipe his board and it's over. I wonder what these are. He kept these in the mulligan and he hasn't played them yet. One of these could be, um, was it Rock Kill? The legendary that gives all your guys like Death Rattle, give everything else plus one. Oh, I need one more mana for the <laughs> equality combo. I can shave off two damage. Yeah, that is true, Justin. That it, yeah, it does feel a little slow. So yeah, I was very, I, I thought the card was gonna fit great in this deck, but now I'm not so sold on it. I don't know what to put in its place though. He still hasn't played either of these cards. Rock Hill is five mana, if I remember right. But at least we wipe his board. Then, yeah, so we have another equality consecration combo. We got timeout. Now it's just a matter of getting Uther. Yeah, my bet is one of these is Rock Gill. Yeah, and I keep thinking about like posting some polls on YouTube to see what kind of decks people want to see and want me to play. Um, feels like a waste to wipe that board. Yeah, see, I feel like I don't know. I don't know what I'd replace Uther's gift with, but it, it's not. I'm not feeling great about it. Noble Sack is potentially really good. Like that Kingsbane Rogue game. Uh, if I was able to get Noble Sack, I might have been able to survive. I'll just take a look. I, I don't play Paladin a whole lot. So I'm not super familiar on, um, you know, the cards. Look, I don't hear the music at all. Feel super quiet <laughs> during this stream. Oh, that was one of the cards he had in his opening hand. So equality consecration this turn, timeout next turn, Uther called arms. That's probably GG. It's kind of nice how this is like essentially almost a control deck. Like you're trying to, you know, hang on and slow them down. But 
it wins very, very quickly, right? Some control decks, you're grinding people out for 15, 20 minutes. This deck, more than likely, you're just playing the control game up until turn, until turn like 9, 10, and then you just win. So you get the, you know, fun control aspect, but then you don't have the long drawn out games. All right, Consecration again. <laughs> I guess this is one game where uh, Uther's Gift came in handy <laughs> after I was shit talking it. Yeah, so Uther next turn. And we just win the turn after that. Uther gains us 10 life. So we'll be at 22. I am the harvester of rats. Okay. Oh, that isn't rock kill. Wow, he held that for a really long time. The light's justice has failed. Well, unless there's some stupid combo, <laughs> I think we got this. I got 17 life. He's got three damage on board. Needs 14 damage. Yeah, maybe, I think after this game, I'll take a look at what I could replace Uther's Gift with. <laughs> too little, too late, man. Pass and let me win. No yeah, it is a cool. It's a cool idea for a deck. Like I said, it's like little bite-sized control games. You get that rush of like staying alive against aggro, but then just winning. All right, yeah, let's take out Uther's gift. I'm not sold on it. I'm just not totally sure what I'd replace it with. Um, Forbidden Healing is probably too slow. I don't know if any of you guys got any suggestions or cards I may be missing. Don't think that's good enough. Something, some kind of board clear, board clear or healing. Holy Maki roll. Like, although I guess that's, I guess it's like a more versatile forbidden healing. Um, this is too easy to play around. Humility is okay, I guess. Man, Paladin has so many one-cost cards. Oh, my Yogg is okay. Yeah, I definitely need some kind of removal or something else to hold on a bit longer. Because a couple of the games I did lose, it was like turn, you know, seven or eight. Like, it was very close, right? So I just need to survive to turn nine, ten, and I win. The deck so far has a decent amount of draw, so I don't really care about draw. It's just, yeah, healing or removal. Wave of Apathy is not bad. That's like pretty good delay. Um, um, hey Connor, so I, I can't put Armor Vendor in the deck because of the combo I'm doing. So I'm basically using Call to Arms to grab Garrison Commander and Sing Along Buddy. So they're, they're the only minions in the deck that costs two or less. And if I add armor vendor, it, it could screw up the combo, right? So I guess that's the only kind of limitation for this deck is that I can't put any other minions that cost two or less in the deck if I want to do it to combo this way. Um, Yeah, Rodrigo and Bear, you guys mentioned 
what's it called? Yeah, mine, mining casualties. That's not bad. Here, what I'll do, I'll add everything that looks decent. So take out Uther's gift. Wave of apathy, I think. Um, actually, this card's not bad either. The taunts are nice. Um, but I feel like I'd be willing to go up to like three or four mana. Cold feet, actually. I guess depending on the deck, right? Cold feet can be really strong. Um, Festival security is that that three mana taunt that has like the finale to make things attack into it? Um, it's holy light for extra healing, but. I don't know. I just feel like it's very slow. Like it just heals you and does nothing else, right? Meanwhile, there's cards like Flash of Light, which yeah, it's less healing, but also draws you a card. Um. Yeah, Mining Casualties is pr pretty good against aggro. Mm. Yeah, see, both Rebuke and Cold Feet, I feel like, are very similar in that against the right deck, like, they're so strong. Like, it basically buys you an extra turn, right? But they're only good against some decks, not all decks. This is so slow. Only costing one more. It's not that great. Um, This isn't bad, actually. You know, this could discover something useful, and it heals me. I'll put that in as an option. This is cool, but I'm running only the two cost minions, so it's and I, I don't need to tutor them out, right? I have multiple ways to draw or tutor them out. Um. Probably it. How many holy spells do I have in here? Oh, not many. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. Okay. <laughs> Why is it like, I feel like every card in stand, like every Paladin card in standard right now is a holy spell when so many of these aren't holy spells. This could have been good, potentially, if I had more holy spells. Oh, that is true, Bear, that if they have any kind of yep buff like that, it, it will persist through it. Noble Sack, I'm kind of iffy on. But against certain decks, it is really good. Like against Kingsbane, it basically buys you a turn. Um, yeah. Um, what else do we got here? Mining casualties. Like, I guess the question is, like, how many spells are good and how many are bad? I guess the problem with Paladin is a lot of their spells buff minions, right? And I just don't have any minions to play the buff spell on. So I can see it not being good for that reason. And, and yeah, Bear, actually, when I looked into this deck, um, I looked into a few different... Because there, there is different ways to play this deck, for sure. This one is basically built around comboing um, Call to Arms. Uh, you could take out the call to arms and shift the deck a bit to be a bit more, um, you know, have some other minions and, you know, but, and I, I might try that at some point, right? Uh, but for now, I want to at least try this version. Yeah, I do think the, the one you mentioned, Justin, I think would be better. It's a four, essentially four taunts. For one card. I can find it. There's two mana, wasn't it? Oh, air raid. Let's try that. We'll see how it works. And yeah, maybe I'll play this deck for a little bit while longer. 
and then I'll shift the strategy of the deck. Um, I'll shift it over to less of like comboing with call to arms and more of like a controlly. Um, Cause I could put armor vendor in. There's some other like good low cost minions I could put in, right? And I guess we can weigh the two versions of the deck, which one's better. Can you imagine this guy's playing the same combo? <laughs> Don't need this. Yeah, sure. But yeah, bear. I, I think, like I said, I'll play a few more games and then we'll try, you know, tweaking and reconstructing the deck a bit. Need a bit more spice over here. Would be kind of funny if, uh, this was a mirror match. Oh, actually, no, never mind. You played. I doubt it is. It's <laughs> just some kind of aggro deck. Because technically, if it was the mirror match and you both had perfect hands, the one with the coin would win. Because turn seven, I guess, you could play Uther and then turn eight called arms and hero power. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that spell. Bear. That's a good one for sure. I was looking at all the low cost spells, so I didn't get that far. I think that's a good one for sure, though. It pairs up nice, obviously, with equality. Um, it pairs up with Lord Barov as well. Yeah, I'll probably add that one. But so far, I've been very surprised how consistent you can pull off the combo. You know, between, um, what's it called? Order in the court, gets you the combo. Uh, there's multiple tradable cards. Service bell helps you dig and that kind of thins out your deck a bit too. Yeah, like pretty consistently, as long as I'm living to turn like eight, nine, 10, I'm, I'm pulling off the combo and winning. I'll do this. So like I said, at one point, we'll have to see, you know, obviously this deck kind of just became a thing last week with the new set. Um, well, it remains to be seen if it's actually competitive and wild or not. I don't think it'll be tier one or anything, but I could see it being, you know, decently tier two. Divine shields are a little annoying. I could uh, consecration or just double air raid. Maybe he'll be greedy and get rid of the divine shields. I guess bear. I did. Well, I did, I did play against the one King's Bane rogue, and I got shit on. <laughs> but it was close. I was almost there. But I'm pretty sure I read. I think I read someone got high legend in WoW with this deck. Let me take a look. Yeah, um, yeah, I guess a couple of people have run Renathal versions of this deck, but um, okay, yeah, a couple of people have hit top 100 legend in wild with this deck, so it seems like, you know, legit. <laughs> I'm not saying it's the best deck in the world, but it can definitely pull its weight. And it's, it's it's something different, right? I really like all of the like win the game conditions. Um, oh, like like Mechathune, right? I mentioned earlier how I, I have a whole list on my phone of different decks I want to play, 
and I love win the, win the game conditions. And actually, I've never played Mechathune. I don't have Mechathune. That's that's part of the reason why. I just never felt the need to craft him. But that's a fun deck. I want to play at some point. Um, double air raid. And if I call to arms, I'll draw the other time out next turn. Yeah, to be honest, I'm, I'm very surprised that it seems like people are playing um, Renathal versions of this deck more than 30 card versions. Which is really surprising to me. I will not foresee. Open your minds to the light. So we time out next turn. Next, we could time out Lord Barov. Next turn, coin out Uther, and the turn after win. If we're still alive. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't agree with like playing this as a Renathal version. Although someone got top 100 legend with it, so maybe I'm just a dumbass. But it, uh, yeah. When you're trying to pull off like a very specific combo, it doesn't make sense to me to dilute the deck so much. Especially, like you said, Paladin doesn't always have the best draw either. Yeah, I think we win. We heal 10 next turn, we get 28. Okay. Hey, for what it's worth, some decks, uh, the extra cards are nice. I think we're still fine. The light of justice has failed. Like some super gri greedy, like grindy control decks. Those extra 10 cards that can make a big difference, right? At 26, he's got 10 there. Needs 16 damage to kill us. So granted, it's only um, one game so far, but I like the air raid so far. This is a mech. I wonder if they like, Paladin has mech synergies, right? I wonder if there's a decent card to tutor this out. Well, good game. <laughs> It's kind of funny too because Uther is such an old card that I bet you a lot of people don't recognize this at all. So people are probably, there's probably a couple people I've, I've beat tonight. They're scratching their heads a bit. I love the old Death Knight cards, though. You know, they were, they were the first hero cards to be released, and most of them were just like home runs. They felt so good to play. Hey, Jar Rules. Thanks for the follow, man. I appreciate it. We're only six away from affiliate on Twitch now. It's super exciting. Yeah, it's always fun winning with like old cards that people don't recognize or remember. Because literally this card came out in like the second year of the game, I think it was. Which is eight years ago now, which just blows my mind. 
and, and yeah, Bear, like you said, I do not think Rhinothal would benefit this deck at all. Um, Noble Sack sucks against Paladin. We'll keep the rest. Yeah, the, I guess the only time I've really had Renathal work... Hey, there's Whizbang. The only time I've really had Renathal work is with, like, Warrior Priest. Where you're playing super grindy decks that are going to fatigue. And they, they also just have, like, so many good cards, right? That, you know, you don't feel like you're putting in any filler cards. Yeah, I, I am I am looking forward to playing Whizbang. It's it's too bad that it's apparently not great. Because the first Whizbang was so good. Like you could play I talked about it during a previous stream, but you could play the old Whizbang up to Diamond, no problem at all. Even further, right? People would hit legend with original Whizbang. Um So it's a little too bad. I was super excited for the new Whizbang. Um I opened it. You know, with my packs, I was super pumped. Uh, but then the first or second day, I was reading comments online and I saw some videos online. Of, I guess some of the decks are actually pretty good, but some of the decks are just really, really bad. So, yeah, it's very hit or miss. Um, just double trade, probably. We have Uther. But yeah, uh, I, I mentioned it earlier, but... Once April comes around and the ranks get reset and I get, you know, reset backs to dumpster bronze, I'll do a whiz bang stream at that point. Which, you know, my MMR is still high, so I still will play against um, better players. But generally, when the ranks get reset, you know, people are more willing to kind of experiment and play fun decks. And the ones that are like going sweaty, they're getting back up to diamond very quickly, right? So... Uh, we'll just draw and kill this. How's it going, Jar Rules? You enjoying the expansion so far? Yes, we... Okay, we got the combo. City tax is nice, and I'm drawing two of them. Especially with equality. Although, double timeout is also nice. Although, I have order in the court to draw them, so I'll take the city tax, actually. Yeah, um, maybe two more games or something, and then we'll we'll switch up the deck a bit, bear, kind of tweak it and you know, change the strategy. For duty. But uh, uh, actually, outside of those two rogues we played, we've won every other, every other game so far. The one Kingsbane rogue game was really close, and I forgot what the other rogue was playing. I don't think it was Kingsbane. Um. Do this now. Draw timeout. Next turn, we have equality, city tax if needed. We'll go draw timeout the next two turns. Yeah, they actually added like official Blizzard bots jar. So if it's been a while since you've played, your MMR is probably very low, or I don't, I don't know if they reset it eventually. So yeah, you may have been playing against some of the, the Blizzard bots. <laughs> And there, there is just like legit bots too, right? A lot of them play uh, Death Knight too. I uh, guess we don't need city tax. Oh, I'm stupid. I forgot I have multiple three cost cards. <laughs> I kept thinking like I'm reordering my deck from bottom to top. I was just assuming that I was going to draw timeout next. 
which is fine. We don't we don't need it. Is there anything I want off of this? Air raid's not bad. Look, I don't need it. Heavy quality city tax. Let's just do this. We're in no rush. Yeah, I, I know I've mentioned it multiple times now, but I think this is a cool deck. Like, the idea of a control deck that actually just has, like, a hard stop, um, it's nice. Because you get the fun of playing a control deck, but then you just win on turn 9 or 10. So you're not stretching it out for 20 minutes. Um, what? Oh, he's playing a whizbang deck. <laughs> I was like, I was like, where did this come from? I was very, very confused. There's like no way I'm dying, right? Also, where did that come from? I mean, either, I'm either not paying attention or I'm just losing my mind. Um, I'll take this actually because I'll draw one of those next turn. But yeah, I, I'm pretty sure, Jar, I think the Blizzard bots stop after Diamond 10. I think. The real bots continue to like Diamond 5. But yeah, take the free ranks, right? Uh, yep. So we Uther, and then we just win. I, I do think in that rogue game earlier against the um, Kingsbane rogue, if we had city tax and or sorry not city tax, if we had air raid at the time, we would have won that game. I think. Like air raid would have been so strong against Kingsbane. And yeah, I can't remember. I think I can. Let me. Can I click the replay? What was this rogue? Oh, it was the mine rogue. <laughs> yeah, that mine rogue killed us on like turn four. That was a rough game. All right, here we go. <laughs> I think I'll never get tired of this combo. All right, let's play one more, I think, and then we'll retune the deck. Go a different, maybe, yeah, more controlly tempo route. But it's working well so far. Granted, like, yeah, I'm only in gold, but my MMR is obviously higher. I'm usually hitting diamond and wild. Uh-oh. It's our mortal enemy. The only class we've lost against so far is Rogue. I'll keep the Noble Sack, because it is King's Bane. It's huge. Um, keep the Hammer to kill, like, the 3-1, just because left alone, that'll chip away at me. Okay. Decent opening hand. Oh, it's a mech. Okay. Kind of funny, um... All three rogues we've played against so far have all been different. Sure. If he daggers up and attacks to test for this, I'm fine with that. Next turn, I'll probably just coin hammer it. Okay. Yeah, I'll coin hammer it. Okay. So probably service spell next turn. Hitting air raid would be nice. Um, consecration would be nice. 
City tax would be nice. Oh god. Do I just play this now? Because this guarantees that this dies by my next turn. Options, options. Yeah. I don't want this to live. So then next turn, <laughs> I'll, sit, I'll service spell that turn. Oh, was I, I wasn't thinking about magnetize. <laughs> oh, but never mind. He didn't magnetize. Okay, it'll have... It'll have two health. <laughs> what? Okay. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> Um, this grows, no. Yeah, slow him down a bit. Man, <laughs> that guy could have played around Lord Verov. He was... Some players, man, it's just like face, face, face. They don't think at all. Oh, sphere helps. Um, timeout is nice. I would like order in the core because I don't have Uther or called arms, but I have the weapon, which will help me dig a bit. So I think I'll just take timeout. And whatever. He just kills the one one. It's okay because it's a magnetized target. And that's good too. Clears the divine shield. Okay, we might time out here, depending what we draw and depending what he does for the rest of his turn. Yeah, we're gonna time out. Unless I draw... Okay, yeah, we're in a time. <laughs> the Divine Shield's rough, because it survives against... Uh... Okay, we take that. Um, time out for sure. I don't need that, because I'll draw it next turn. This kind of sucks against the Divine Shield. Alright, so... We have another, you know, free turn with timeouts. Oh boy. Don't need that. I could... Oh, it still isn't clear. So that's two, five, six, seven. Okay, we'll save that for next turn. That'll be turn eight. We'll order in the court, draw Uther next turn for nine. All right, we have a chance. So next turn, we will equality, city tax, then consecration. We'll clear the board. And then the turn after will Uther, turn after that, called arms. Theoretically. It's going to boil down a bit to what he gets off this. Hopefully nothing too crazy. So I'll city tax first, so I'll heal four, then consecration. Consecration actually could clear what he gets from this. Oh, perfect. Wow, that was like one of the best outcomes. 
So next turn, Uther, we heal for 10. Turn after that, we win. That's a little rough. So next turn, that'll deal, what, eight? Yeah, four and four. But I can't attack, so we're fine. Another easy win, guys. Heal. GG. GG, buddy. Although I'm not going to sugarcoat it. We like barely held on there. <laughs> that It was very close, you know, uh, to us, that game getting away from us. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Play one by its. Oh, okay. I was like, play something by itself so it can copy the ability. Alright, Mr. We got redemption on the rogues. Alright, that's five wins in a row now. <laughs> Alright, I think we'll retool the deck a bit. So we went... Um, went 6 and 2. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... No, we went 7 and 2. So, yeah, went really well <laughs> with that version of the deck. So, now we'll retool the deck a bit. I think we'll cut out the Call to Arms combo. So then we can actually add some other minions. So yeah, I know you guys mentioned like armor vendor. That's a good one. What, what other? So we cut out called arms. I guess. So what minions do we want? What minions are two or less that would have really that would really benefit this deck that we couldn't add previously? Righteous Protector is not bad. It's kind of funny. I forgot this was an actual card. <laughs> I thought this was just a Battlegrounds card. This is, isn't bad. It's a body that discovers something. I do think if we put more minions in the deck, it makes that one spell I was considering earlier a little better. Um... Hydrologist is okay, I guess. High Ho Silverwing is good. I'll just add some stuff and we'll make some cuts. Um, Aldor Peacekeeper, maybe. Armor Vendor. Zilliax, any good? Maybe. Yeah, armor Vendor. If there's any cards you guys can think of or any suggestions, let me know. I'm probably going to miss some cards. Um, I wonder if like Mistress of Mixture maybe? Or if I, I wonder if I'm going like too hard on the early game. If I'm going more minion-centric, I can maybe cut time out. Like one Viper in. I think Hammer of Wrath, like cuts. Um, I think I don't think Order in the Court I need anymore. This Order in the Court was nice because it draw it drew both combo pieces. Um but now I just need Uther really, I guess. And if I order in the court, it puts the garrison commander and sing along buddy in the bottom of the deck. So I don't think I want Order in the Court. Later on the log, I could probably get rid of. Mainly had it in there for tradable. Um, noble sack, maybe I'll get rid of. Oh yeah, the, the draws the one attack minions. Um, oh, 
Christology. So that'll draw armor vendor. Do I have anything else with one attack? Oh, it draws sing along, buddy. So that helps a bit. I'm gonna leave the sphere in. I do like the sphere. Um, I think air raid is pretty decent. Hmm, this is tough. Yeah, there's also the 1-1, one, one. yeah, this guy. So Christology will also draw that, helps thin out the deck a bit. Actually, kind of funny. Oh, actually, never mind. Call to Arms won't work. <laughs> I was going to put Call to Arms in ETC. Armor vendor. That guy almost needs some more holy spells. Maybe I can drop the high host silver wing. What holy spells would be worth adding? I don't think Holy Mackie roll is great. It's very slow. Um, there's this, but again, I just feel like it's very slow. Um, Seal of Light isn't bad. I think this card actually gets better. Um, oh, no, this isn't the card I was thinking of. <laughs> um, oh, it must not be a holy spell. It was the one to discover a spell and restore health to your hero equal to its cost. I think the fact that I have more minions in the deck makes that spell better. Just because there's so many paladin spells that target minions. What was it called? I think it was two mana or a snack run. I'll try it. We'll see how it works. I'm just gonna we'll throw the deck together. We'll try things. I think I leave city tax in there. I like it. Maybe air raid doesn't make the cut now. Actually, it's not a holy spell. Oh yeah, that that is well. We can sneak that aura in before it gets nerfed. <laughs> yeah. See, so yeah, maybe I don't need timeout done because I have more minions and spells that kind of heal me and keep me in the game. We don't need timeout. We'll keep service spell just because it's good draw. I don't. Oh, holy spell. Yeah, we'll try it. Version two. Yes, yeah, so this is less of like a combo version and more of a minion board based version. So, um, played nine games of the last one. Maybe we'll play nine games of this one and compare. <laughs> As usual, I'll probably make some changes after a couple games once I get a feel for the deck. Uh-oh. Rogue's the one class that's beat us so far. Burns with holy fire. Um... Let's keep the service bell. I agree, three mana draw two isn't great, but the discover aspect is nice, right? So I'll save this for when we need the health, I guess. I wonder how many big spells Paladin has. Like how many 
big spells for like a burst heal is there. Oh, another mech rogue. Does mech rogue have any... I don't think have any weapons that matter. Off the top of my head. Hmm. Could serve a spell. If I get city tax or consecration, it's pretty nice. I think I'm, I'm probably going to end up favoring the other deck more just because it's a fun combo. But I guess, who knows? Might be uh, judging a book too early. Um, Actually, I don't need the Consecration now. That's actually really nice. That was basically, you know, thinning out six cards from my deck. <laughs> slow turns for him, which is nice. So, a Christology. I'll get what? Armor Vendor, Knight, and a two sing-along buddies. Okay, that's, that's fine. That was the two I was hoping to draw. Just chewing through our deck. So we have equality consecration if needed. Uh, if he doesn't trade, the aura would actually be really strong. Come on. Aggro decks aren't supposed to trade. Just go face. <laughs> Who in their right mind makes that trade? I might actually just sing along, buddy, in hero power. Because I get some bodies on the board that, again, if he doesn't trade, I can play the aura, and they're very strong. Or I could just Equality Consecration here. Down to three cards in hand. Um, he's got, what, eight, 13 damage. Or let me just hold off. I'll do the original plan. plan. Like I said, if he doesn't trade here, it seems like he's willing to make these trades. But if he doesn't trade here, I can play the aura, make some nice trades myself. Yeah, we'll save equality consecration to get like as much out of it as we can. More like this turn. <laughs> wow. This guy. <laughs> like, it's good for me. I'm not, I'm not complaining. I'm just very surprised. Usually these guys just want to smork. Especially he's down to three cards in hand. And I'm at 30 health still. <laughs> Alright, so next turn. Here we snack run. Outdoor Peacekeeper if we play something big. We have Flash of Lights.
I guess you could also build this deck as more of like a control deck. Like drop the Christology, drop the Knight, um, drop a bunch of these, drop the Aura, drop Service Bell, and go more of like a slow control Paladin, which is also an option. That's not bad. What is this resurrect? Armor vendor or knight? Um, nothing for two mana. Actually, no. Sing along, buddy. Should I? Hmm. hmm. I'll take that. The divine shield's nice on the three three. That's fine. It seems like this guy's in a trade. That's all this guy's doing. <laughs> so predictable. This is not the deck you want to be trading against. So I guess what would be nice is to snack run into some kind of buff here. Uh, let's see what we get. Um, hmm. Divine Shield Taunt's pretty nice. Slows him down some more. We just need Uther. We have a Garrison Commander and Sing Along Buddy in hand. I trade this guy, draw next turn. Service Bell could draw him. They're down to 11 cards in the deck. I really don't care about getting his health down, so I'm just going to make every trade I can. That's not bad. Yeah, I don't think they have a weapon I care about killing. Or destroying, rather. <laughs> um, I almost don't want to kill this. Because pretty decent odds he gets like four or more attack out of it, right? So, so far, I guess initial impressions of this deck, it seems harder to get Uther. So, maybe I do want like one copy of Or in the Court here to guarantee the Uther draw. Because it's turn nine, right? If I had Uther right now, I would just win the turn after. Like at this point, I draw Uther and I win the next turn. And I'm at 30 life still against this mech rogue. Right, gain all the armor you want. I don't care. Like in all the mother ships. Oh, that helps uh, my consecration. <laughs> That's a little annoying. I get frozen before I can play Uther. Consecration? That'll deal two damage to everything. I'm at full health, though. 
All right, there we go. That was chill. Let's play the second one, why not? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was, <laughs> whatever. So, deals, what, six, seven, eight, nine to me. Uther, I won't be able to attack, which sucks, but Uther heals me five. Then assuming I'm not dead the next turn, I'll win. Yeah, maybe I drop one aura for one aura in the court. Anything else jump out to me? Snack run was meh so far, but I want to give it a couple games maybe. Viper might not be great as well. Uh-oh. Just play cards, man. What are the other abilities? All right, guess, guess like one attack. All right, so if I do draw Consecration here or City Tax, I will do that instead. Because we might not be able to survive <laughs> a new Uther turn, especially because we won't be able to attack with the weapon. What? Okay, never mind. We just <laughs> we Uther and we attack with the weapon, I guess. Right? Because I'll heal 10. Um... Yeah, heal 10, attack this, I'll be at 31, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hmm. There's no way he deals 20 damage to me, right? The light's justice has failed. All by my hand. I don't know if those guys playing on like a phone or something and just couldn't, couldn't make his turns fast enough. Or it's like some six-year-old kid. Hey, I'll take it. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to look at the other draw options as well. Service spell could get dropped. Or the Viper. I feel like I mainly put the Viper in um, for King's Bane. I don't know how popular it is right now. I know it, King's Bane definitely goes like up and down in popularity. Come on, just pass your turn. Pass your turn and let me win. Yeah, Viper is a potential cut. I think one aura is a potential cut. Service Bell's potential cut. Snack Run's a potential cut. So this version of the deck is definitely has a lot of optimization left. Yeah, it didn't really matter that he threw that turn away because I was one anyways. Funny enough, this is actually the first time we've actually like played those minions in one. Every other time we won, we played uh, Order in the Court. Hey, Oswald, how's it going? Funny enough, Step, I don't think I have Harrison Jones, which is so funny because it's like an OG legendary. Yeah. <laughs> like how many of those do I even not have? Like in my 10 years of playing the game, I've never opened it. Oh, you went, oh, the Black Knight too. <laughs> That's funny. A couple, uh, there's a, actually a bunch of these I did have and I disenchanted. Like, I believe I had this, disenchanted it. I think Ysera was changed. I think when they reworked Ysera, um, or I, I don't know, but I feel like I had that at some point. All right, so what other draw options do we have? <laughs> Not many. <laughs> oh, this is Legacy, never mind. I was like, I know Paladin's struggling for draw, but not that much. 
Um, yeah, I'm not doing too bad, Oswald. I'm playing this new, uh, we're not really a new deck, but um, it's Exodia Paladin. The new sing-along buddy opens up a lot of, you know, basically you can win in one turn with this deck now, with the sing-along buddy and the garrison commander. Yeah, I, I, I'm a dust cow. I'm dust poor now, Step. Sorry, man. <laughs> I spent like 20,000 dust over the last two weeks for a stream deck, so I'm broke. I gotta take a break. Um, but what do we want for draw? This would be nice if it could hit Uther. Is Divine Favor any good? Maybe like one Divine Favor? This is a pretty good card. Oh yeah, someone mentioned the spell that gets reduced for enemy minions. I forgot to add that. Um, it's like nine mana, I think. What? Do I not have it? Oh no, Prismatic Beam. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a good add. Um, I think we could take one aura out. What else? Snack run, I'm still very iffy on. I'm to drop one more card. Any legendaries? Yeah, can you imagine? I have next to no dust and I spend like the what little dust I have on Harrison. Um, this might not be awful now that we added more holy spells. Oh, we still don't have a lot. We got two, three, four. Oh, we still don't have a lot. Never mind. <laughs> this isn't. This could be good in this this style deck though if you did focus it more on holy spells. Um. Keep armor, keep that, keep that. Keep city tax, keep flash. Snack run in a very iffy on. Maybe I'll drop one of those. I might drop the other eventually. Might even drop aura too. Actually, let's go that route for now. Try the one divine favor, try the prismatic beams. I almost wonder if Uther's Gift would be better in this version of the deck. I wasn't a fan of it in the last version. But maybe this version is good in. Yeah, this version, we're, we're one for one. 100% win rate. Leandrin versus Lunara. I, I do think in both versions of the deck, actually, that four mana dragon legendary would be great. So I really wish I had that. Might keep this in case he's playing aggro, which I'm not really sure what druid's playing in a wild right now. I know that there's so many like stupid combos druid can play in wild, so it could be that or it could just be aggro treants. Are you in uh, Europe, though, Oswald? You mentioned it being late for you. May the light you Break it, you buy it. I've actually been surprised how many people, based on my stats, I've you know been watching me from Europe. It's kind of funny. I guess you always assume that like the people watching you are going to be from the country you're in, right? But a huge chunk of people have been from, you know, Europe and other countries. So that sucks. He's all only draw one. That's I guess that's the one time. Yeah, service bell sucks. I oh I forgot that is one card I can draw drop two possibly. Probably take the knight. I guess. Break it, you buy it. 
the dead rest. I'll just take a look again at... Oh, I forgot. I wanted to put order in the court back in. Let's draw. Divine Favor could do something. If I blow through my cards a bit. Because he's probably going to have a bunch of cards in hand. Okay. I don't think we're scared about that. Although I could... No, I don't. Actually, I have Equality and Lord Barov, so I got... Actually, I have two Equalities <laughs> and Lord Barov, so we have lots of clears. You can just chill. Yeah, just chill. Yeah, the only downside with this version of the deck is it's less consistent to draw Uther. So I, I do want to add one copy of Ord in the court, I think. Just to guarantee the Uther draw. It's essentially a second copy of Uther. I guess the... Oh, maybe not. The only downside with that is it puts Singalong Buddy and Garrison you Commander towards the bottom of the deck. And I can't pull them with... Um, uh, what's it called? What was the card? The 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 tutor. I don't play Paladin. I can't remember. Um, call to arms. I don't know. I can remember that, but yeah, it, I don't have call to arms to pull out the commander and the buddy. So actually, order in the court maybe isn't as good in this deck. So this deck, um, Yasha, essentially, you play Uther on 9 or on 10, um, and it gives you the hero power that you spawn a 2-2 horse, and if you have all four horses, you just win the game. So what you do is you play Garrison Commander, which lets you hero power twice, and Hero Power Buddy, which will spawn two horses. So essentially, you could have an empty board, you play Garrison Commander, Sing Along Buddy, Hero Power twice, and you just win the game. So, hopefully, um, this game's looking like I'm going to get to be able to do it this turn, this game, so we will probably get to see it. This draws nothing. Oh, this draws the two sing-along buddies. And just chill. Consecration would be nice. We we have three equalities essentially with Lord Verov. But yeah, Yasha, it looks like I'll get to pull off the combo this game. Yeah, that's pretty much why I'm taking a break from standard today. <laughs> uh, I got a little bit sick of the current meta, so we're taking a break from standard today, play some wild, and then tomorrow they're actually nerfing a bunch of cards. Um, they're nerfing three Paladin cards, one Hunter card. Um, they're nerfing Odin, which is huge. So a lot of the top decks are getting nerfs tomorrow. And then we'll, we'll jump back into Standard tomorrow with a bit of a refreshed meta. I don't even care how much armor he makes because I just I win regardless of armor. Um, yep. So this Divine Favor kind of sucks, unfortunately, but... Yeah, see, now we're at a point where we just draw, draw Uther and we win, essentially. So I guess that's the only thing about this version of the deck that's a bit of a pain point. Is some way that we can tutor Uther out. It would be kind of funny if this guy was playing, like, the Linecracker combo. <laughs> just gets, like, 2,000 armor and we still just beat him. Um, no, I'm just going to dig for Uther at this point. Um, um, nerfs typically 
the balance patches typically come out at like 12 to 1 Eastern time. So probably around there. Probably 1 o'clock Eastern time. Should I? Hmm. Um, actually, I can coin Divine Favor. Actually, coin Sing Along Buddy Divine Favor. And there's Uther. Cool. Play with your next turn. So basically, for anyone just joining us, um, next turn I'll play Uther on 9, and then on turn 10 I'll play the Garrison Commander, the Singalong Buddy, Hero Power twice, and I win. Regardless of how much armor he has. This must be the way. I could be wrong, but I don't think the patch will go live that late. Oh, never mind. No! <laughs> well, I, I was going to win on uh, turn 10. <laughs> but there's Druid shenanigans for you. Yeah, I think I like the other version of the deck better. I just want to take a look at it one more time. Is there anything I would cut? Hammer's kind of meh. I do like the air raid ad. I think I could cut hammer for. Needs to be a spell. Vitality Surge does nothing. Divine Favor, I don't think helps this one because this one typically has more full of a hands. Actually, I could drop Hammer for the Prismatic. Is that what it's called? Prismatic? Prismatic Beam or whatever it's called? Yeah, could drop Hammer for that. I feel like this deck has quite a bit of draw and cycling, and it's much easier to hit the combo pieces in this version of the deck. I can probably sacrifice the draw. Let's try that. Um, no, wild is not as popular as standard. Um, it's not dead by any means. Like you're not sitting here waiting to find a match or anything like that. Like you could see, I got it, you know, normal time. But especially a new expansion just came out last week, so definitely a lot of people are more so in standard. But yeah, Wild's not dead by any means. Another rogue. <laughs> it's like the only class that's been scaring me. I'll keep Consecration in case it's uh, mechs. If it's Kingsbane, air raid would be really nice this time. Yeah, so basically I, I switched to a different version of this deck. Um, this is a much more like combo version of the deck. So this deck, um, you know, you have, uh, where is it? You have Order in the Court to guarantee the Uther draw. And then you have one copy of Call to Arms where the only minions in this deck that cost two or less are the two combo minions. So it's Garrison Commander and Sing Along Buddy. So basically the goal is to play Uther on nine and then on 10, you play Call to Arms. It pulls out the combo pieces and you hero power twice. So I think this is a more consistent version of the deck. Um, this version, we played nine games earlier and we won seven of nine. We lost against a King's Bane Rogue and a Mine Rogue. But yeah, pretty much very consistently, I was having Uther out to ready to go on turn nine. Um, and yeah, it's got... Um, quite a bit of like board clear. It's got some healing. Yeah, it's a fun deck. I I've talked about it earlier in the stream, but it's a cool deck because it's basically built like a control deck where, you know, the first 10 turns 
you are, you know, trying to stay alive, trying to um, fight back against aggro and stuff. But then pretty much turn 9, 10, you just like hard win the game. So it's not like some control decks where you're dragging out the game for 20 minutes and slowly grinding them out. Basically, it's control until turn 10, then you just win. So it's cool. It's like little bite-sized control games. Oh, it's Jackpot Rogue. I missed that deck. Um, I'll save Order in the Court. Oh, I guess Prismatic Beam screws up Order in the Court a bit. But this deck also has timeout in it. Basically, you know, gives you two stall turns. But yeah, I guess Prismatic Beam does hurt Order in the Court. Because without Prismatic Beam, you would draw Uther right into Call to Arms. So maybe it's not worth a slot. Yeah, I do miss this deck. I, I, you know, Thief Rogue is one of my favorite just decks of all time that I play randomly and wild all the time. So I'll probably order in the court on turn eight. So then turn nine, draw into Uther. Look, I don't need to shoot that. Like, my hand's pretty good. I am pretty much ready to go. At this point, it's just staying alive. Yeah, I'll just chill. I don't think there's anything really super crazy you could do. I guess equality would be a nice draw. Sphere would be a good draw. Lord Barov. Timeout. Oh, there's Lord. Um, actually, I'm going to order in the court now. Um, or I hold off one turn. Options, options. Hmm. I'm at 27 life. This is, <laughs> this is rough. Like, um... Uh, yeah, I'll just chill. <laughs> There's like so many different... Uh, this deck is interesting too because it really makes you think. It makes you kind of plan out your turns, right? Because the ultimate goal is essentially live to turn 9. And more than likely is win the game at that point. So you need to try and like stretch your board clears and try and maximize your resources. Like I, I really tried to leave like the you know Lord Barov and Equalities like the very last moments. But super cool deck. Like so obviously here we'll clear. Next turn, I'll order in the court, so I draw Uther on nine. We'll do this, because why not? Yeah, so next turn, I could time out, order in the court. Um, maybe the other Noble Sacrifice. Yeah, looks like pretty good chance we just win this game. But yeah, I, I guess um, I do flip-flop between Wild and Standard. You know, I, I like both equally. I, I've been playing the game 10 years, so there's a lot of older decks I like to go back and play sometimes, so Wild is great for that. So do that, do that. Follow my lead. Oh. Yeah, so um, next turn we draw Uther and play him. Uh, we essentially heal 10 because he gives the 5 armor and the 5 damage lifesteal weapon, and then turn 9 we order we call the arms and just win. Yeah, also in, in Wild, there's some just like stupid combos you can play too. <laughs> you have no like there's so much crazy shit you can do in Wild that you, you know, people complain about certain decks in Standard, but man, some of the stuff you can pull off in Wild. You know, for it... <laughs> I, I, I always, I feel bad 
because this this is exactly the kind of deck that like I love playing and sh and shuffling the uh what eight copies of Tess into your deck it's just great the light's justice has failed. I'm not dead though right I'm at 25, um, 10, 20, 21. Oh, he needs four damage to kill me. <laughs> but if he doesn't have four damage, I just win. It's looking pretty good. The jackpot was definitely like a Hail Mary for him. Yeah, I love I love Deep Rogue. I love this deck. I, I love it with like Spectral Cutlass. I have a Spectral Cutlass Deep Rogue I've been playing off and on for years in Wild. And it's cool that it's in standard right now. Um doesn't seem that strong, unfortunately, but um, who knows? Maybe the maybe once the meta shifts after the nerfs, it'll be a little bit more viable. But there's a lot of fun decks I'm looking forward to playing in standard once some of those nerfs go out. <laughs> I think he just did that for the armor. Yeah, so that, so yeah, here's the combo essentially. Call to arms. We'll pull out the minions you need. The hero power once. You get the first two. For anyone who doesn't know this card, because it, it has been out for a long time, basically, yeah. Um, summon a 2-2 horseman, and if you have all four, you just destroy the enemy hero. So I click this again. Summons the other two. And then blows them up. So yeah, essentially we're surviving until like turn 9, 10, and then just winning. Assuming assuming we have the cards, but there's a lot of ways to dig and filter in this deck. That it's pretty consistent ending the combo. I would say almost every single game where I was still alive by like turn 10, I had the combo pieces in hand. Oh nice Axel. Yeah, I think Rogue was my second or third to hit it. I'd probably say Rogue is like my third favorite class. Warrior is number one by far. Warlock is probably second, and then Rogue's probably third. Then Priest, maybe. Another Rogue, though. I think I keep this combo in case it's mech. Because we have run into a couple mech rogues. Oh, and if it's Kingsbane, air raid is perfect. So, mech or Kingsbane, we're fine. But yeah, it's a cool deck. Obviously, um, there was ways to kind of pull off this combo before the expansion, but the introduction of Sing Along Buddy makes it a lot more consistent. You can basically, you know, with no board and 10 mana, you can just win if, if you have Uther out. Oh, it is mechs. For duty. Still not totally sold on Prismatic Team. After you order in the court, it also delays timeout by two draws, which timeout is super important in some matchups. But I think this this list is pretty tight here. Noble Sack, I'm kind of iffy on. It's kind of funny because Noble Sack, like Noble Sack, is the worst against Rogue and Druid because you know they can clear it with their hero power. And I'm running into so many rogues. Actually, yeah, rogue is the class I've played the most. It's my third rogue in a row as well. At least with this deck. But yeah, so maybe Noble Sack isn't worth it. Although, the one exception to that is Kingsbane Rogue. Where Kingsbane Rogue, this card is very, very strong. Um, just Air Raid and Chill. So we had Lord Barov's City Tax if his um, board gets out of hand. Prismatic Beam could also potentially clear as well. Actually, depending what he plays, I might just... Monsters beneath you. Yeah, I might just... I think it was Prismatic Beam. Yeah. 
clears these two. And it's kind of nice it doesn't kill this, so it doesn't get him like the discounted card. Yep. So basically, service bell would be nice. Or in the court, very nice. Sphere is good. I've mentioned it in a previous stream, but I think this weapon is so underrated. Oh, look at that. Speak of the devil. Um, here. But yeah, I think Sphere is underrated. I've thrown it into so many like random combo and control decks, and it's great. Oh, okay, there's order on the court. So we have Uther for um, turn nine. Then we'll draw Prismatic into Call to Arms. So it's really funny because I think the new Silverhand recruit arts, like they're good, but they don't, um, they don't like, what's the word? They don't blend well with the old Silverhand recruit. So if you only have new Silverhand recruits on the board, like it looks great. But as soon as you add an old Silverhand recruit to the mix, it looks weird. <laughs> like they should have drawn the new ones in the same style as the old art. So it wasn't so jarring, the difference between the two. Um... I might just Consecration. So if I call to arms now, I'll draw Uther on eight, Prismatic on nine, called arms on 10. So I want to play Order in the Court this turn. I can curve out to win on 10. Um, other than that, maybe just Consecration heal. Yeah, exactly, Axel. It's like, they look great. It's just, they either should have removed the old art or made the new ones in the style of the old art. I don't know, it just looks weird. Okay, this is a great bear of city tax turn. And he's just blowing his load, so his hand's empty, too. That's actually a little annoying. But it'll still clear these two. Actually, oh no, it's still full clears. I can bear off... Prismatic beam into city tax, right? Do try to keep yourselves alive. So if I city tax, it'll leave a 4 1 and a 2 1. Yeah, I heal one less. Just pray that these things aren't really big. Okay, one big, one small. <laughs> Yeah, Axel, that is true. This is much more of like a, a yellow gold color. And they have, they're more like, uh, oh yeah, they're more purple, like you said. Okay. So. So this brings you up to nine. Options, options. I smack that, I'll be at nine. He has three on board, brings me to six. This gives one, that's five. He's five, he needs a top deck, something that deals five damage to me. The light's justice has failed. Fall by my ass. All right. Although I guess he could... Oh no, it's never mind. This will draw two. So he has three draws to deal five damage. Okay. Um, 
Okay. Okay, or don't draw. <laughs> but I, I guess he doesn't know I'm going to win next turn. So, you know, that is fine, I guess. But I would have drawn if I was him. Like, why not push for lethal, right? Well played. This is um, what, our eighth win in a row with this deck. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure about Prismatic Beam. Because it delays the timeouts as well. What could I drop for them? Is there any other... Am I going to go full circle and add Uther's Gift back? <laughs> like some kind of board clear or heal... I've seen some versions of this deck running Oh My Yog. I don't really like it. Like, I guess it could, you know, it's like Counterspell, right? It could be super, super impactful, but not always. Old Feet is okay, but I don't think it makes the cuts. Holy Light is okay. I guess getting like Holy Light off service spell is kind of nice. Healing for 16. I wish there was some other spell that healed and drew a card, <laughs> like Flash of Light. Um, I dropped that. Seal of Light is okay. Showdown probably would have been good if I had Prismatic Beam in the deck still for the combo. Subdue I don't think is good enough. I need like Lifesteal Weapon. I know there's the one that you can't attack heroes. Yeah, this one. I don't think that's good enough. Hmm. All right, what was the one card I mentioned? it was now. I think it's a two. Yeah, do I just do Uther's Gift? <laughs> There's something else I was looking at. Um, maybe not. Yeah, let's try it. <laughs> I I was not a fan of Uther's Gift originally, and I re I had it in the deck, and I cut it. Now we're going full circle, adding it back. We'll see. Yeah, this deck's been... Uh, granted, you know, I'm in gold still at this point, but my MMR is higher, so we theoretically should be playing against some, you know not drooling people but yeah it's been going very 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 well first warlock we've seen what are they playing keep the equality just in case I, I so I don't think Yogg would fit in the deck because again it makes it um, it screws up with um, order in the court because order in the court we kind of want nothing between Call to Arms and Uther. So we order in the court, and then the next two draws are the combo. That was one reason I took out Prismatic Beam. Oh, it's a Renathal, too. Let's keep drawing. Simulated. 
Yeah, key run. So actually, that's the one card I don't have that I agree like 100% would be so good in this deck. Because it lets you play that on four and then Uther on five and then just win on six, right? So it would be so strong in this deck. It would speed up the, the, the deck so much, but I don't have it. And I'm dust poor right now, so I can't craft it. Um... Chill. Yeah, I wish I had that um, legendary though. Because yeah, this deck would be a lot stronger with it. I haven't really seen Nemzi played yet. Seems like a fun legendary though. Uh. Just chill. Yeah, I, against slower decks, I think this deck has a great matchup. Like, unless he just blows me out with like Wheel of Death somehow. Like even then, right? Assuming I draw decent. Or I guess he could high roll some demon here, right? Hmm, it's not that bad. Wait, what? <laughs> Do you not realize that's temporary? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I, I think we got this game. Not what I simulated. Any kind of slower deck, as long as you draw even like half decent, I think you're super favored. Obviously, order in the court would be nice. Um, sphere would be nice. Service spell. I still think we're okay though. Wow, we have a lot of board clears. Oh, you almost don't even want this to die. Got another demon in hand there. Although my hand, a little rough right now. Need some kind of draw. Options, options. Do try to keep yourselves alive. To battle. Ah! I am only more. Ah! Reporting for duty. All right, hopefully we get a decent draw next turn. Not what I simulated. As, like I said, <laughs> as long as we draw like half decent, I think we just got this game. Are you gonna clean that up? Okay, so he has a board clear in hand. <laughs> oh, that's a cool combo with that. Okay. That's good. Okay. <laughs> wow, I only drew three minions out of all of that? Okay. No Nemzi. Okay. So, quality, consecration, order in the court. Next turn I draw Uther and then call the arms. GG. That was like the perfect top deck there. That was a cool combo, though. The plot twist with uh, this dude. Get all the armor you want. I don't even care. That's fine. This is going to die. And then we heal 10. And next turn, we just win. Actually, <laughs> uh, if he gets the symphony card that burns the cards that that'll be rough it burns what six cards call to arms timeout service bell service bell time along buddy which i have the other one okay we'd still be okay well 
you want to play your destroy the hero card? I'll play my destroy the hero card. How many people won in a row at this point? Eight wins in a row now. Very curious to see if this deck catches on in Wild at all. Because, like I said earlier, if you have that four mana legendary, it's even stronger, too. Wow, so many rogues. Like, on one hand, I want to keep this, because if it's Kingsbane, this is very strong. But... Maybe we keep this for mechs? We've only run into one Kingsbane rogue so far. Most of them have been mechs. I think this is better later in the game. Yeah, let's try it. Oh, the twin three air raid is actually great too. If this is King's Bane as well, so uh, I'm still not sold on Uther's gift. <laughs> I keep flip flopping on the card. Okay, it's Mech. Well, at least wow, this hand is great against Mech. Not gonna play this because I guess I could have. Because if you waste this whole turn just daggering, it's pretty good for me. Yeah, just do this. Buys us a few turns. It's a cool deck. It's funny, I got like a taste of this deck when I played it in Twist, and the wild version, especially with the sing-along buddy, is so much stronger. I actually, <laughs> it's funny, when I played Twist, um, I streamed for three hours, and it wasn't until like my last game that I actually pulled off the combo finally, and with this deck, I've pulled it off like nine times in a row now. <laughs> uh, I'm actually going to do this to get more bodies in the board, because I only need the one sing-along buddy. I can throw the other one away. And this is a 1-4 hidden behind the taunt, so if this stays alive till next turn, it's just even more Silver Hand Recruits. But yeah, seeing just the new Silver Hand Recruits, they look really good. But like I said, as, as, as soon as you mix in um, one of the old ones, it just it looks bad. We're off to a great start. Now, yeah, pretty much just draw Uther and we're in a pretty good spot to win. So, yes, we want Service Bell, Order in the Courts. What else? Sphere is okay. Um. Man, this guy's been pretty slow. I wonder what his hand's like. But if he does pop off, we have Equality Consecration still. We have Time Out. We're at 30 health still. <laughs> Alright, make some giant mech for me. And I've got so many bonus silverhand recruits from this guy. Um to battle. To battle. 
How, how am I at 30 life and this guy's at 14 now? So we're at turn 9 now. The only shitty thing is, yeah, we don't have Uther. Wow, that was a pretty nice card to get. Give me... Okay. So... Time out. Order in the court. Let him build up a board a bit. Next turn, probably quality consecration. Turn after, we will Uther. Yep. Do some more magnetic shit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You can follow up with double air raid too. Oh, that was the second half. <laughs> yeah, air raid was a great addition. We kind of added that card. Um, where is it? Oh yeah, we kind of added this card like part way into the stream, but yeah, this card's been very, very good. You see four taunts for one card. Okay, so we Uther. How much damage does he have on board? 10, 14, 15, 16. So we heal a bunch here. We're at 32, 10, 13. Yeah. <laughs> Needs to deal 20 damage to us or we just win. Man, this deck, deck just feels dirty so far. I almost want to keep going until I lose, but <laughs> who knows how long that'll be on like the rate we're going. All right, win another one. <laughs> no peace, no rest. Oh, time has come. I'm so stupid. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. I didn't notice that <laughs> we, we had uh, some of the guys in hand. All right, it's okay. It's, everything's okay. 10, 13, he has to do 10 damage still. Nine damage still. Oh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> I just got like tunnel vision, man. I'm so used to just ripping call to arms and winning. But I didn't realize I drew all these guys already. It's okay. Everything's okay. We got two in our hands still. Okay. No punish. It was just extended BM, guys. It wasn't it wasn't a misplay, it was just BM. I wanted to give him a chance. Actually, funny enough with the weapon, he's only had two life. I dealt so much damage to him this game. No. Oh. That's okay. You live for one more turn. God, I'm so stupid. I was literally like just an autopilot. Usually I don't draw all the minions like that. Well, no punish. <laughs> all right, we are now 11 and two <laughs> with this deck. Gonna have my pick of the litter for, you know, editing a win for YouTube, geez. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine wins in a row. 
and they're pretty quick games. Like I said, for like a control deck, these games are averaging 10 minutes, which is nice considering, you know, some control decks just grind people out for 20 plus minutes. The other Rogue too, wow. Actually, of the last six games, five of them have been Rogue. And most of them have been Mech too. Like, I feel just playing Mech Rogue is a way to just climb. Like, I didn't get it. I don't think I got anything new from the new set. Oh, Renathal. And funny enough, Noble Sack is like the worst against Rogue, and I just keep getting Rogues. Um, David, I would say in my experience so far, um, the way to beat this deck is just like um, very fast decks. Um, I've only lost two games so far, and one of them was to Kingsbane, which had a super strong start. Um, I was very close to hanging on and winning, but it wasn't quite enough. Um, and the other loss was also to a rogue. It was to a mine rogue who killed me on turn four or turn five. So, yeah, that's the big thing is super fast decks. Um, still know this guy's playing. Like, it could be mech with the auto amplifier, but he is a Renathal deck. But yeah, I, I've I've kind of been very surprised how consistent this deck has been. Like most games, I'm ready to go with Uther on nine and then win on ten. Um, we have Call to Arms, so we only need Uther at this point. Air raid is decent, and I have a lot of turns to to dig for Uther. Let's take it. But yeah, I mentioned it earlier in the stream, but it's a cool deck because it's built like a control deck in a way. That the first 10 games, you know, you're, you're you're fighting to stay alive, you're healing, you're wiping the board, and then just turn 10, you just win. You know, versus some, like say you're playing like Control Priest, right? You're just grinding people out for like 30 minutes. Um, and some other control decks too, right? You're just grinding them out slowly over 20, 30 minutes. Um, but this one... Yeah, survive till 10 and then win. So, it's like little bite-sized games. Bite-sized control games. Oh, see? There, I've got order in the court. So, I'll play order on turn 7 or 8. Then we just chill until then. I don't know what secrets Rogue is playing. Oh. <laughs> that could have been really bad. That was just in his deck? Okay. <laughs> um, I guess we have to keep that in mind now. He could have a second one in the deck. I feel like I've never seen that secret in my entire life. Hmm. We'll just throw one out here. We have two of them. Yeah, been very, very surprised with this deck, just how consistent it is. Uh, we are 11 and 2 so far, and have won, what, 8 or 9 games in a row? Come on, man, you didn't think to test for that? Ooh, I do not miss Astalor. <laughs> Hands up if you don't miss Astalor. <laughs> that card was awful. Don't need another order in the courts. Um, yeah, order in the court on seven or eight, depending where the game's at. Actually, I could even do it next turn, because then I'll draw Uther, and then I'll draw the second timeout, which could be nice. Basically, I would draw Uther on seven, draw the second turn out, turn, sorry, timeout on eight. I can even play one timeout on eight. Betrayal. <laughs> wow, that was not car in a while. Yeah, 
Yeah, I feel pretty much any like medium pace deck to control deck, I feel like this deck just wins. It's crazy. I'll take that to combo with equality. And yeah, I'll just play order in the court now. Um, I won't time out. It's only six damage on board. Next turn, though, I'll probably either time out or equality city tax. Actually, I could coin out Uther on eight. So yeah, next turn, time out, turn after, coin Uther, turn after that, I win. Oh, jeez. He's just trading for me. It's perfect. Yes. Um. Yeah, just time out. Coin Uther next turn. I'll keep this just in case. Because if he does develop like a giant board and I can't Uther next turn, I'll equality city threat, city tax, and a turn after I'll Uther. Yeah, the only card I have it's funny, I haven't really even drawn Uther's gift. But that's the only card I'm not sold on in this deck. And I've I've flip-flopped on it. It's like the other 28 cards in this deck I feel like are perfect. I Noble Sack, maybe, is iffy. But for the most part, the 26 to 28 cards I think are perfect. Um, and this last, these last two cards, I keep flip-flopping on what I want. I had um, Hammer of Wrath at one point. Um, I had Uther's Gift originally, took it out, put it back. It's kind of nice that you can't Astalor. Oh, God. That's nothing that can screw me, right? Oh, my Yogg would kind of suck. Uh, I'm going to skip this, because then I'll draw either Time Out, Lord Barov, or Consecration. So I will be at 23 life, a 6, yeah. Job's done. I have no, what? I have no mana. <laughs> that was an insane high roll for him. Holy shit. He got this you got the oh my yog off shell game and then it basically wasted my whole turn. <laughs> wow, that was rough. <laughs> well, that sets us back a little bit. It's kind of funny because I mentioned at one point how I've seen, oh god. I've seen some versions of this deck running Oh My Yog, And there's instances like that where it can like decide a game. But then there's other instances where it doesn't really do much. Oh, I don't need that. Um, I can't Uther this turn now. So that, this actually sets things up nicely because he, because I'm immune, he's not going to play Astalor, which means I can pretty freely play Uther next turn, heal 10, I'll be at 20. And then I'm assuming I'm still alive, I can win a turn after. Hey Slanesh, how's it going? Yeah, I don't think he's going to play Astalor. He could if he just wants to get the body on the board, but I don't think he will. Man, that, that, oh my yog screwed me. Okay, so. Damn, he actually could kill me next turn still. Astalor is 
14 damage. Um, plus this. Yeah, it's going to be close. The light's justice has yeah, I agree. I, I'll be honest. I flip-flop between wild and standard. I'd say I'm probably like 50-50. But I really enjoy wild. There's just so many like different decks and different strategies you can play. Um, and, and I've been playing for 10 years now, so I have a lot of the old cards. Um, that's fine. Um, I have... Um, wow, are we live with one life? Or two life? <laughs> Don't have two damage? Oh, is there a zero mana two damage? There's zero mana to deal two damage to a minion. Okay, oh, thank God. Well but yeah, like I was saying, I um, have all the old cards and there's so many like fun decks I've played back in the day that it's nice going back to wild and playing them more. Oh yeah, that is true. If he didn't have the, the uh, if he didn't play the use, he could have Zephyr and got Lightning Bolt or something. I guess he wasn't expecting to just die the next turn. <laughs> but yeah, definitely misplay on his part. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you threw Axel. Hey, I'll take it. I've made my share of misplays, so what goes around comes around. But yeah, we almost lost our win streak there. We got one, uh, 10 games in a row now. <laughs> We've won. My god. Yeah, I'm st it's I'm still medium on um Uther's gift though. But there's just nothing like obvious to put in its place. Like Hammer of Wrath is fine. Like it draws me a card. Holy Mackey roll, I think is too slow. Or I can even drop one. Like, oh my yog. Should I try it? It almost screwed me last game, so they will try it. Yeah, I was thinking of there's that shaman spell, right? It's um, zero mana, deal two to a minion. I wasn't sure if I was remembering wrong that could hit face. Although I guess there's no way, right? Zero mana, deal two damage to anything would be nuts, regardless of overload. Um, Paladin. Watch, it's a mirror match. I'll keep these. And if I don't think I'll need this one, I'll just trade it away. Funny enough, if this is the mirror match, assuming perfect draws, he wins every time because of the coin. Yeah, if I had the extra dust, I would definitely craft the four mana Nosdormu as well. Accidents. They okay, hand buff. Did you get bored of standard? <laughs> Just want to play the same deck? I just drop this for tempo. Yeah. I, I obviously, like... Unless by some miracle he has um, like dirty rat or something. No, get her, get a free one, one. I'll take it. It's buffering for you, Shlanesh. So I guess one shitty thing. Um, is I so I stream in 1080p 60 frames per second, which I have because I'm not an affiliate yet. Um, apparently, you can only stream that. There's you can't downgrade it to like 1080 or sorry, you can't downgrade like 720 or anything. Which some people, you know, your connection might struggle a bit. Um, the good news, I am six away from affiliate. Which apparently, once you get affiliate, you can actually choose lower qualities. But I don't know if anyone else watching is having issues with buffering or anything but well, the only thing i can think of is it seems fine on my end but i know 
some people can be struggle to, to stream 1080p 60. Um, raid leader. <laughs> There's actually been a few times I've considered dropping the, the stream quality down, at least until I get affiliate, because I wasn't sure if anyone was having any issues. Man, how are we at 16 already? See if we can end on a high note. Um, I really want to trade this, but I feel like I should keep it now that I have Lord Bear off. Okay, let's double trade. Don't play anything else. Oh. Speak to me. Actually, I should probably just do this to heal the two. Do try to keep yourselves alive. And he only gets one draw off the Acolyte. Well, I have to say, I think my favorite deck of the expansion so far is like Tentacle Shaman. It's been really fun. It's funny how like multiple classes are utilizing Tentacles right now. But yeah, the, I, it's kind of funny. I feel like every other stream, I just want to play Tentacle Shaman, but I don't want to overdo it. Um, three, four, five, six. No. Nope. Could double flash a light. Oh, and I have the combo pieces. Yeah, I'll just take that, I guess. Top deck, noble sack. That'd be nice. Nope. In before I just die to a buffed up Leroy or something. Yeah, I don't see them ever, like, adjusting the tentacles. Like, I think they are strong, but um, it's not like they're, like, game-breaking or anything. But, yeah, in... Okay, I'm not dead. <laughs> Even with the Hand of a Doll, I still wouldn't have been dead. I do need to kill that still, though. Is there any... If I just play equality, did any of these screw me? No. So we do need to delay Uther one turn. To so kind of rough here. If he has like the, the four attack weapon, I'm just dead. I don't want to do that because I don't want called arms. Timeout would be nice, but I'd, I'd have to draw two cards. Oh, I wasn't thinking. Whatever. <laughs> Not like we need to damage him to kill him anyways. Yeah, that would be really cool. I. Oh, oh my yog for the win. Like I said, I think the tentacles are super cool. It's 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 funny how. Um, oh wow, that would have been lethal. Unless it's still just lethal. Speak to me. The justice. Oh man, are we gonna hang on? <laughs> this was a close game. There's nothing that hurts me for attacking, right? And this doesn't really matter. Even if it was Counterspell or something, I'm still in a good spot. But yeah, it's funny how the, the tentacles have been around for multiple expansions. Oh, I don't like Shroomscavate or something. <laughs> Raid Leader. 
Yeah, it's funny how the, the tentacles have been around for multiple expansions now, but because of rotation affecting like the pool of spells, right, that they're actually viable now. And, and it's cool how multiple decks are utilizing them. Oh, if this is like objection, actually no, if this is objection or um, the other, what, explosive runes, I guess play the second one. Yeah, it is cool how many different classes are utilizing the um, Tendrils right now. Like, there's like Tendril, Rogue, Shaman, and Warrior. Wow, what a run with this deck, though. We went 12 and 13, <laughs> and we won the last 11 games in a row. And actually, 50% of my games were against Rogue. Like, that's it's crazy how popular, and most of them were Mech. But I guess, you know, like uh, someone mentioned, that they could just be bots as well. Not sure. Um, but, <coughs> oh, sorry. Um, that will be it for me. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I do have one favor to ask. I am six away from affiliates. We're getting really close. So um, if you haven't followed me on Twitch yet, I would really appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I will be back tomorrow. Um, be back for standard. Um, there's the balance patch tomorrow. So a bunch of changes. Paladin's getting a bunch of nerfs. Um, Odin's getting nerfs. Um, so yeah, I think that'll shake up the meta a bit. So we'll head back into standard tomorrow. I have a huge list of different decks I'd like to play. Um, and also I will be streaming this Friday as well. Um, I don't normally stream on Fridays, but I'm gonna do a little fun little Easter stream. So I got some fun ideas for that. Um, might be doing wild for that one too. But yeah, tomorrow standard, Friday wild. Um, thanks for the follow. Slanesh, I really appreciate it. Appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the stream. I know you haven't been here that long, but uh, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow at around 6.30 Eastern time. Hope you guys had a good night and yeah, take care.